All right, everyone. New week, new Odyssey. What have we got this time? The new ones. Ooh, I already like the theme of this Odyssey already. These towers made their debut in BTD6. Now let's see them in action. You know what that means? We're getting Druid. We're getting... Uh... Beast Handler. We're getting the Mermonkey. We're getting... There's definitely more. The Alchemist. We're getting... Uh... Every single hero, which is probably not true. We're getting... Uh, the rest. Wait, did I nail it? Alchemist, Druid, Mermonkey, Beast Handler? Yeah. Huh. Look at me go. Wait, why did I delete that? Alright, let's be honest though. Let's, let's also be honest though. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, that works for me. Yep, typical. All of these plus every other hero debuted in this game. I guess technically they're not towers, but still. <clears throat> um, good camo detection, okay camo detection, basically no camo detection, basically no camo detection. Okay. Um, who's got camo detection off the rip? Zeely, right? No one else? You know what? Fuck it. We're going Quincy. That's not Quincy. <laughs> Alright. I'm happy with that. So, are all these maps brand spanking new as well? Ew! Ugh! Ugh! Gross! What the fuck? Ew! I mean, 43 grand, but still! Ew! Mesa? Fucking Mesa? Oh. Anyway, Tinkerton, 10 to 60, insane regrow rate, and everything's regrow. That's fine. Quarry, double HP mobs, 15 to 65. That's, that's fine. Luminous Cove, hard reverse, 20 to 70. Yeah, whatever. Cornfield, love this map. 30 to 80, probably won't remove much anyway. Mesa, ew! Sorry, sorry. But it does have to be said that out of all of these maps, Mesa is absolutely the fucking worst. I don't think anyone would disagree with me, honestly. Anyway, hard impoppable, 40 to 100, 43,000 coins to start with, which this number is very generous. I'll tell you that right now. These numbers, not so much. This, not so much. This as a whole, terrible. This doesn't make up for it, but it's starting to help. Anyway, let's just let's just get into it. I'll have plenty of time to bitch and complain about Mesa as we're working our way towards Mesa. Come to think of it, maybe I should have picked Owen for a druid army. Fuck. Yep. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. First of all, I'm sorry. Second of all, I'm sorry. Third of all, I'm fucking sorry. Right. Completely forgot that Oban at a certain level now just straight up gives druids camo detection. That shit's insane, and it's worthy enough to restart the game for. Just throwing that out there. Anyway. Welcome to map one of the Odyssey. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to edit this video. Wait, did that actually attack balloons? I was not paying attention, but it kind of looked like it went to attack balloons. Is that what I, Is that what just happened? Hmm. Anyway, what have we gotten already? Plus one piece. Insane. Insane in the membrane. Brambles to throw on the ground. Yeah, open was a much better choice. The first time I went to pick Quincy, 
it was just because I was looking at all the heroes and I was going, oh, camo detection's a bit shit with this lineup, isn't it? And I was looking at the heroes going, no, Oven doesn't have camo detection. No, this person has to unlock it later. This person does start with it, but they're a little bit weaker in the damage department early on. You know? And then, boom. Somehow it completely slipped my mind that, yes, Open doesn't have camera detection. But first of all, has two abilities that doesn't give a shit about camera detection. And second of all, can give camo detection to all the massively great balloon poppers, also known as the druids. So why do I give a shit that Oban can't see camo balloons? You know? Why should why should I care? Okay, maybe I should have hit the button a little sooner, but still. There we go. Actually, yeah, maybe it would have just it probably would have gotten popped on the way back, but I am impatient. Good. We're looking good. Lead balloons? Never heard of them. When do you bestow? Ha 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 ha! Level eight. That is so damn soon. I love it. Um, what else? I'm thinking honestly, if we get. We get enough. I think two jungles bounty druids are enough to sort out pretty much every balloon problem we'll have between now and round 60. But a bit of extra pierce would be nice. Um, and then a few bottom path druids wouldn't uh, go amiss either. Almost. Almost at level 8. Almost at level 8, almost at round 40. Uh, I don't know how we'll do for round 40 specifically, but it does seem like Oban is a legitimately good tower to pick, and that we can rely on his abilities for camera detection. Up until he just straight up gives it to all the druids. So I'm gonna have one bottom path down here. Do I care about top or middle crossing? I guess I like middle more. I like middle more, but I can see the advantages of the top. Oh, beautiful work, team. Right, let's get one of these. Oh yeah, I forgot Pop Lost, actually. Well, not Pop Lost. Oh yeah, it is Pop Lost. Huh. I don't know why I thought Pop Lost was uh, the tier 5 ability name. There we go. I think jungle bounty should increase the amount of money you make based off of other nearby druids. But it shouldn't give such an insane range increase. I mean, what's that really for? You know? It's not like this is primo attacking tower. You know, I don't, I don't see why it gets a range increase when its best ability for damage is global anyway. I guess the range, is in, range increases for the increase per banana farm near the druid. And I guess it's more balanced because you can't fit like 30 banana farms around one druid. But you could fit 30 other druids around one druid, probably. army up and running. All of them can see camos. Come on. There we go. And 
technically we still need one more. Stupid laws of physics. It's not my fault that five of you can't just give yourself your own buff as well. Okay, there we go. That's our defense. Very, uh... Very inclusive defense. It's a good variety of towers that we have going for us. You know, I'd, I'd be worried if we had just used, like, all of the same tower, but no. We, we've got a good variety in here. So I'm, I'm not worried at all. We've got Oban. Uh, we've got a couple of druids around. So, you know, variety. I mean, technically, I know it's only the first map, but at the moment we've used 40% of our tower selection. We've used a total of Oban and Druids. <laughs> but hey, I can't help it if they're just the best things on my team. Right. Same deal, different map. Am I crazy? Does everyone else set up their defense around the middle section, or, or am I just crazy and weird? I, I do think about that quite a lot with some of these maps, because quite often I'll, I'll think to myself like, oh yeah, uh, this is where most people set up, right? I'll often think that and be like, yep, cool. I'm glad I'm setting up in an area that most people agree is a, is a decent or a good enough area to set up in, right? But then, obviously, I'm not great at the expert maps or, or like some of the super hardcore difficult maps. And so sometimes I do think to myself as I'm struggling like hell on like round 10, like, is this where everyone sets up? Or is this just me? And I'm stupid for setting up here. For the most part, I think it's not just me. I do feel like other people, you know, get set up and start placing all their towers in this middle section, but who knows? Maybe I'm the crazy one and everyone actually sets up on the bottom for some reason. Or at the top. I got no idea. I just figured this was the best spot. Don't know why. Uh, just, I don't know. Came to me in a dream. Now this spot was dope as fuck. Nobody believed me. Okay. So we're waiting for level 8. That's fine, it should be on its way sometime soon. And I think we place the rest sort of just in a line, you know? We won't go for Poplar straight away. I feel like it's better to have Jungle's Bounty before going into any of the sort of heavy hitters for the game. Plenty of brambles to keep us protected. They are expensive. Poplust surprisingly not as expensive. Don't know why, but I was really craving just walking around the city and buying stuff. Like I haven't actually gone to the city in ages. Well, that's not true. But I haven't gone to the city to shop around and buy things in ages. Like, it's genuinely been years, I think, since that last happened. Um, primarily, and most recently, I've only been to the city to 
get food. Food that sadly doesn't spawn elsewhere. It's one of those urban spawns. Okay, we've got to get ready for uh, mobs coming from downtown. Out of fucking nowhere. Here they come. We should be fine. The brambles will do like 99% of the damage, but then we'll just pick it all up with the druids. Yeah. So now we have plenty of time to work towards the rest of our druid army. Dumbledore's army! Entirely just druids. Any druid he can find. Now this is actually getting somewhere because the druid's buff is actually reaching other druids. You know, like the, the original Poplust just reached like these two. And that was it. They got nothing else. But hey, now that we've got three of them, now everybody's getting a plus two. Which is great. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the other jungle bounty. I'm sure they'll sync up at some point without me having to do anything, because I'll I'll glance at something and then casually forget about that ability and then they'll just sync up at some point, so I'm not really bothered with keeping on top of that. Um, and then it's just more pop lasts. Also I'm pretty sure Ovens given the okay for druids to marry camo balloons, so. I think we're good. Here we go. Oh, that damage is getting much better. Hmm. Are we all at three? We are all at three. You know what? I'll do four and five up here. Just to make sure, at the very least, they all get five. Or five and six, rather. Um, yeah, just to make sure they all get five. Because I feel like over here, that's when this guy misses out on some pop loss. Right? Which really sucks, and to be honest, these guys are pretty much just here to pop my eyes. I couldn't give a fuck if they just ignored all the ceramics, because that's what these two are for. Spice of life. I do find it a little bit ironic that I say that and then immediately buy a tower that doesn't really help much with damage, but just buffs the abilities that the other towers currently have. So I'm gonna say this is like 0.5 of a tower. It's not even one tower, it's just 0.5 of But I suppose it doesn't matter when you're gonna crush it regardless. Come on guys, you got this. I believe in you. Oh my god, yeah you do. Holy shit. To the moon. Ooh. Four vines. No, no big deal. No big deal. Just sorted them out. Ooh. And with these five stacks of pop lust on these two jungle bounty druids, it looks like round 63 doesn't exist, which is beautiful. And it looks like it's gonna be an easy win. I'm so glad I swapped out for for Urban instead of Quincy. 
I should have known. I should have just known that my favorite hero was going to be the one that was the best. Should have known. Now, we made it in the end. I'll cut out all the parts where I was like, oh, maybe Quincy's a good choice. No. Well, I'll, I'll keep that part in. Um, I'll keep pretty much everything up until the start of the first map. I'll just cut that out and go straight to, boom, opens better. You know, it saves a lot of time. Anyway, that's been the new ones, part one. As always, part two will feature in tomorrow's episode. This is going to take forever. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.